the devastating floods that ravaged Telangana and Andhra Pradesh, extraordinary acts of bravery emerged. Today, we bring you two incredible stories of heroism from Kamam region in Telangana, where relentless floodwaters tested the limits of courage and humanity. Our first story takes us to a terrifying night in the Kamam region. Suri Babu, a resident of neighboring Andhra Pradesh, found himself stranded in the middle of raging floodwaters for two hours. Hope arrived in the form of Sub-Inspector Nagumira from Chintakani Police Station, who had heard about a person clinging to life. Without a second thought, he removed his khaki shirt, grabbed a rope and plunged into the dangerous waters. He fought against the powerful current to reach Suri Babu, finally bringing him to safety. The villagers gathered around, cheering for the brave officer who risked his life to save another. Later, Suribabu spoke to the locals and gave a detailed account of how he escaped the jaws of death. He not only thanked the officials, but also praised their commitment. Our second story is equally awe-inspiring. Just two nights earlier, nine people were trapped in a water lodge area of Kham district. The situation seemed hopeless and the local administration was scrambling for a solution. Sending a JCP bulldozer to rescue them was suggested, but the dangers were immense. However, one man, Subhan Khan, stepped up. Despite the unknown depth and the force of the water, he volunteered to drive the JCP into the flood. Subhan Khan uttered a line that has since gone viral. If I die, it would only be me, but if I return, I'll come back with nine lives. He took the risk and miraculously, he returned with all nine stranded people, greeted them by applause and cheers of great privileges. His bravery did not go unnoticed as BRS working president KT Ramarao reached out from the United States to personally commend him. Local leaders also joined in felicitating him with a shawl and shaking hands with him. Subhan Khan has since become a local celebrity. Though there are some respite from the rains in the Telugu state, what remains is a trail of destruction and stories of human spirit triumphing over adversity. It is not every day that you hear of a Nagumira or Subhan Khan. Unfortunately, 35 lives have been lost and thousands have been left homeless across both states, where damages are estimated to be in the thousands of crores. 